I decided to do my laundry because then when I get home I won't have to because I know we won't get home until really late tomorrow night and then I'll only have a couple days before I start work again I just took some um, of this cold and flu stuff so I'm not getting any worse Kyle's been taking this one and then I just took some vitamin C and D and some oil of oregano so hopefully I don't get any worse I just started the load of laundry and now I'm gonna work on editing while I rest turned on the fire so it's nice have a lovely view this morning today is their last day of skiing so they went out bright and early so they probably won't be out quite as long tonight <laughs> Saying goodbye to our view. We had a wonderful trip. I definitely had my moments of not feeling good, but being able to be inside while they were snowboarding and skiing worked out well. And we're headed home. Yeah. Goodbye, Colorado. tired it just doesn't even matter that it's 10 30 but I am so excited I could cry my mom cleaned like my whole house happy new year welcome home like I left so sick that we just made a mess of the house trying to trying to pack and um we were gone, you know, the week before, and oh my goodness, it's just such a blessing. Thank you so much, Mom. I had a really nice time, but you guys know when I left, um, I was so, so sick. I was crying, thinking I couldn't come. And I feel much better than I did when I left. I'm gonna start my meds again. This feels wonderful to be home. Thankfully, I get a couple days to rest and to seriously detox, like in my sauna again and bath, and to get back to treatment before I go back to work. I wish I had like two more weeks just to rest. Um, thankfully, I was able to rest a lot during this vacation. It's just um, traveling takes a lot out of me. You can tell, like, neurologically, I'm like, and just because I'm tired, I'm a little, ugh. but so thankful for Kyle's parents for taking us on that trip for Christmas. That was really nice. And I was so happy that Kyle could snowboard again since he hasn't been able to. Um, again, I just wanna encourage you if you're sick, I know what it's like and it can be hard on vacations. It can be really hard. And I'm not gonna say I didn't have hard days there because I really did. I'm not gonna say I didn't feel left out or lonely or anything like that because I did. But that definitely was um, just a little part of it as um, far as the overall experience of the vacation. Um, because I know sickness is isolating and it has nothing to do with the people around you or anything like that And it has nothing to do with you Just because you're sick that doesn't mean that's who you are. You are not 
the one who's being isolating you know your disease or your sickness makes it so you have to be isolated it's not you and sometimes it can be hard not to feel like it is you or feel like um just feel upset about it but anyway it was a great trip happy new year to you all i know this is going to be up quite a bit after but i still want to wish you guys a happy new year good morning today is thursday i guess it's afternoon now i've been editing but I'm about to make something that I got for Christmas and we just didn't end up eating. Some sausage links. And then I'm going to keep editing, lay down a little while, then I'm going to go on my walk. Treatment is hitting me pretty hard this morning. As you guys know, I took that long break on vacation and it was really nice. But getting back into it is a little bit difficult. Now I'm starting this laundry because I'm about to go take my daily walk, which will be a little bit harder today since I'm not feeling well, but I still want to try. That's been nice. When I stopped treatment, my face is clearing up, but now that I'm starting up again, I'm sure it will go right back to being bad. But it was nice to have a clear face a clearer face for a little while. Okay, now that I put some warm clothes on, I am ready to um, go on my walk. I do want to wash out my brushes today. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start them soaking. <laughs> Such a good feeling to actually get to see the colors they're supposed to be. I definitely recommend Dr. Bronner's soap. It is a really good quality natural soap, and so I like using it. And now I think I should probably go on my walk before I get too tired because, like I said, I am struggling a little bit today with not feeling well because this is the most medications I've been on for a while. Um, I'm going to look how long my walk takes. It's just like around a block. So it really doesn't take long at all and you know 10 minutes a day of movement is so um, important and your body still can say no and sometimes you can't because I've had times where I can't and people will try to be like oh you just need to move and that's not necessarily true but if you can push yourself to do it you know if you can sit up without passing out when I used to be on my really harsh medications, I actually used to go on a walk the second I took them because it would help move it throughout my body and I wouldn't feel the side effects quite as bad right away. So it definitely made a difference, but if I waited too long to go on the walk, I'd be too sick to. So I always recommend if you are on kind of like harsh medications, do the walk earlier in the day or right after you take your medications. It will be hard and it is hard, but Movement is therapy and it is good. I do hope to walk whenever I'm not at work. So it's actually really pleasant out today. I'm gonna keep my um, ears covered, but I don't think I actually need my scarf or my gloves, but it actually kind of feels like spring. <laughs> now this does remind me of my paper out days. I had a paper out all the way up until high school. And I'd ride my bike, we'd walk, we'd rollerblade. It was great exercise, and it was a great way for me to learn about money and business. And when I walk, it makes me think of those times. It is seriously so nice. We haven't had any snow here yet, and I'm kind of okay with that since I saw um, a bunch of snow in Colorado, you know? And so I, um, it does make me kind of have spring fever, but, January tends to be kind of long in Indiana, <laughs> but this is beautiful weather and it does, it boosts my mood. Walking and there's sunshine, it just, it's so uplifting. Even on days that I can't, you guys know sometimes my mom will push me in a wheelchair. That is seriously so beneficial too, just to get some vitamin D and some fresh air. Okay, that was a lovely walk and I timed it and I took my time it only took 10 minutes eventually I'd like to go around twice and like today I felt like I could have I did start getting some foot pain but other than that it's very pleasant and doable for me hey Rue 
I love interacting with you and I have a couple of you I talk to on Facebook and Instagram and through Snapchat, through email, and I really enjoy it. And if you're new to my channel, please don't feel like you can't reach out. I would love to talk to you. I'd love to encourage you because I know being sick is hard and I have been through so many ups and downs in the past four and a half, five years. And if you haven't seen my original video, I'll link it down below. I've been sick at least 15, honestly, probably more years. It's just that when I was 21 was when it went all downhill. I don't ever want you to feel like you are going through this alone because you're not. Also, since I am, um, I'm only doing a little bit of yogurt, which you can see it's very little, I'm gonna eat a 100% natural hot dog. It's really not bad for you at all. And this is what's really nice when I don't feel good is I can just get myself a hot dog because I have a hard time cooking. Something that I was really excited about because I didn't have ketchup for the longest time. This is organic unsweetened ketchup and it literally tastes exactly this, just like ketchup to me. Like, I thought it would just kind of taste like tomato sauce, but it doesn't at all. I got this one from Thrive, I believe. Oh, I also got these wool balls for Christmas, and I'm going to put some essential oils on them and then put them in the dryer and see how they work. So today I'm going to put orange and lemon on it. Right, it is now 5 o'clock, and I just got done with my sauna and bath. I'm a lot of breath because getting up after that is exhausting. But I need to take my medications, and then... I will be resting. I'm also going to try to fold the laundry. Oh, honey, all our friendship ceases from the